Well, I mean, honestly, Matuga didn't go out of the game. Um, she's a big, strong player. Uh, in the first half, she got foul trouble. And a couple of those fouls that were up for, it seemed like whatever number was in there didn't go to her in the second half. Um, and so when they go to their smaller lineup, it's we're, we're much more, you know, by playing two post players, we have a much better advantage. So I think that was a, a main um, a main thing. We weren't sure how Kay Lee was going to be. So we were early on thinking that we were going to go, uh, She, you know, she's been out. And so we were going to go more post oriented. Then when it seemed like she was fine, we went more with some of the guard stuff. Um, to try to get her and Lynn going a little bit and creating like they do so well. So um, I think that it was probably that. We didn't, in the first half when we had the advantage with the substitutions and the matchups, we went immediately to our low post um, or our high post. And in the second half, we didn't have that same advantage. It's kind of the, so I think they adjusted by having her stay in the game. Defensively, it, it seemed like they really pounded the post in that second half. Even though they missed mm -hmm. shots in the first, they went right back to it. Mm -hmm. And that really kind of made the difference in the game, didn't it? It, it sure, certainly did. Their first stretch, they got us on a couple of a foul, a, a basket, maybe another basket in there. It was not, it was, they have long players. And when we go to a small lineup, you know, we have some long lineups, and then we have some small lineups, and we have some strong lineups, and then we have some lineups that need a little bit more time in the weight room. And we've got all the, we've got all the lineups too. <laughs> And so they did take advantage, you know, they, they have their play set and they, they got in there a couple of times where we were helping on. It's tough when you have to help on Charlize. She's really good. And so if you get out, out there on her and then you're out of position, then the, the post-ups are easier. So uh, I thought we got laned out a little bit too far um, in the second half. And that's kind of what allowed those opportunities for them in the paint. You got the shot off that you wanted potentially mm -hmm. to win the game. Just kind of what did you see? There yeah, I mean, we wanted to connect with one of those guys, and depending on who was on Bonnie and who was on Sierra, that we, we didn't need it to be a three. We just needed the ball to, you know, her to set it up and get back open, and she did a great job of getting the shot off. I don't think that Bonnie had a huge advantage with Bella guarding around the basket, and so it was the right read and the right shot and the right player over there. I thought we got a really good look to Lynn, the possession prior to that. So um, it's good that we have players that we can go to. They make those shots all the time. And our team is very comfortable with them and confident in those guys shooting the shots. And sometimes they don't fall. I think they may have had a foul to give. Are you surprised they didn't maybe use it to eat up more of the clock and then really not give you a chance to get a shot off? Maybe. Yeah, I mean, maybe they're thinking if we do score it and they can do something and they're trying to, I, I don't really know all the time. But I think that uh, I'm surprised there weren't more fouls to have a foul to give by both of us, honestly. We've, we've seen games so far this year where there's been a billion fouls. And for both of us to have to foul, we had one, one foul when we started fouling with five seconds left. Um, and they still had some to give. So that's, that's interesting how the game is officiated at different times because it was very physical. Um, so I'm just kind of surprised about the fact that there were any to give. Anyone else? Jim? Um, I would say that we learned in both of these games that we have to take care of the basketball. Um, we had, I, I can think right off the bat, of, top of my head, of four turnovers that we had that were, that probably led to some of their 18 points off turnovers that were just silly. Um, like they threw it to me or to the other team. Uh, so we can't have those. We can't be casual. Uh, a lot of our turnovers are coming from that. And then the other thing is just when you play good teams, it comes down to the little things and the details. And um, we had too many times. We said in the locker room that maybe everybody takes a turn. I mean, we played the game, 11 of them, um, with not paying attention to detail. And that's 11 possessions where we weren't at our best. And we just can't afford that against good teams. It, it's good enough to win against the teams that aren't as good, um, if you do that, but not against good teams. Derek, you just walk me through the final 1.7 minutes. <clears throat> yeah. Um, we had a good play designed for either me or Vaughn to get a last second shot. And um, Lisa and the coaches and the um, team had the confidence in me to be able to knock that shot down. And I set it up nice. I got a good look. And it felt really good. Um, Vaughn could have taken Bella down low. But um, you know we had either option. And um, I think we got a good look at the end.
that allowed them to come back from that 12 point deficit in the third quarter? Was it a multitude of things, or is it just the way that they were playing? Yeah, I mean, I think we started to get a little casual with the ball. That's kind of when they went on a run, getting uh, off our turnovers. Um, I think then that kind of set us back, and we didn't get necessarily the shots that we might have wanted, or we weren't crashing the glass the way we wanted to. So I think the momentum they got off of turnovers really hurt us in the end. I saw at the start of the game, everyone was wearing those end racism shirts, and you had the video before. What was kind of the inspiration for that? Today? Yeah, um, our team, social injustice is something that we're really, um, we really value, and we want to fight um, against the social injustices that are happening. Um, so it was really important to us that we figure out a way that we could really get our fan base on board. So that was a way that um, we thought was going to work, and um, we're hopeful that our fans uh, enjoyed it and are receptive to it and, and want to join the fight with us. Another really close loss against another Pac-12 team um, this season. Just what do you learn from a game like this? Any chance for this? And kind of, you know, where, do you, where do you go from here next? Um, I think we just learned from it. We watch film, um, learn where we can get better with our turnovers, rebounding, um, offense, defense, whatever it may be. Um, I think just Honestly, it's a confidence builder to being able to see that we can compete with Power Five conference teams, and I think that um, it's just going to be a good learning experience for us moving forward.